Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you so much, um, Speaker Pelosi, for um, being with us today and being such a champion for all of us women. And also, Senator Murray, thank you so much for coming to the People's House um, to help us lift this piece of legislation. And also to our great chairwoman um, from Appropriations Committee. She's doing such a wonderful job ensuring that all of our legislation focuses on improving the lives of not just working women, but our families as a whole, which we know has such a great impact in our communities. Today, more than 50 years after President Kennedy signed, Kennedy signed the Equal Pay Act into law, women in America earn an average of just 79 cents to every dollar our male counterparts earn. For black women, we've heard 63 cents. For Native American women, 60 cents. For Latinas, like me, it's just 55 cents. 55 cents for every dollar a white male takes in. So let me ask you, is my work somehow less important than my male colleague? Do I somehow deserve barely half of the compensation someone else gets for the exact same job? Do I not have to support my household just as much as a man? Latinas lose an average of nearly 30,000 every year. 30,000 every year. That's more than a million over a career lifetime. What would that extra million dollars mean for you that are here? Maybe for that working woman, it would mean that she doesn't have to choose between paying for childcare or buying groceries or not worrying about how to pay for her child's college tuition, or maybe she could even fulfill the American dream and buy a home. This is something that is very personal to me because I experienced it too. One of my very first jobs was selling pipe valves and fittings. Imagine that. It was a male dominated industry and it didn't matter how well I did. It didn't matter that I was selling millions more than my male counterparts. My paycheck was reflected in the thousands less in the monthly bonus than my colleagues um, earned. So this bill also bans retaliation against workers who speak out about wages. As a very young woman, I shouldn't have had to leave my job to get better pay. I should have had an opportunity to petition my employer for equal pay. Instead, I left and I joined, and I joined another career as a 911 dispatcher, where I would often put on my green shirt, my Ask Me shirt, and go to Sacramento or fly to Congress to ask for equal pay for women to lobby for working moms like myself. Today, we have a great opportunity to finally pass this bill out of Congress and to hand it over to Senator Murray, who will help us get it through the Senate. And with that, I, <laughs> and with that, I wanna yield over to our great speaker, or, oh, my great colleague in the <laughs> Rules Committee, uh, Congresswoman Deborah Ross.